Hey y'all, Ashley again. So I'm gonna show you the girls line from the March collection from Matilda Jane. There's several pieces that we absolutely love. I have a four year old little girl, she's almost five. Um, several pieces that she has fallen in love with and so, I mean, I have too, especially when I see how much she enjoys them. It makes me love them even more. So I'm gonna show you, we've got several dresses, we've got some tops and um, bottoms, we've got some cute little shorts, um, all sorts of really fun stuff that coordinates also with things from the tween line, the women's line, the baby line. So make sure you check those out if you're looking for sister sets or mommy daughter sets. Um, you can definitely put some of these prints together and they're really, really cute. So I'm gonna start with one of my absolute favorite tops. So this is like a geometric print top, you can see. I just think it's so pretty. I love this blue. I love the little pink detail here. And then look at the back. Look at how cute this is. And I totally found out the other day, I was like, what are those buttons for? They actually come, this ribbon can come off. So it's tacked already as well. So you don't have to worry about having to retie it. And then it comes off. So when you're going to wash this, you don't have to worry about that ribbon getting all messed up. Um, and so I really am appreciative for that detail um, because I am not the type that wants to have to do that. So um, there are some what we call scrappy leggings that go with this. I'm not seeing them on my rack, which means my daughter has confiscated them, but I will show you a couple different options. So we do have some shorties that look cute with it. The pinks are a little bit different, so you kind of want to bear that in mind. We do have some on the basics line um, that you can find online that <clears throat> are like a bubblegum pink, so they're going to match. And then let me show you the scrappy leggings for baby that are going to be exactly the same. Of course, these are a baby size, but imagine these bigger, <laughs> and that's what you have for a little girl. So it's going to be that same polka dot with these little details at the bottom, but that actually looks really cute with this. So that's probably my favorite outfit right here in terms of this top. I'm um, gonna also look really cute with jeans um, or any other kind of like legging that you have. So love this. If it came in my size, I would totally wear it. But of course it doesn't, but that's okay. I'll put my little girl on it instead. And then I'll just wear one of the other things for me. Um, a few other things that go with this style pants, since I've got them, I'll go ahead and show you. We wore this top to church yesterday and got so many compliments. So this is our unicorn top. Look at how cute. So it's unicorns, but they're almost hidden, which I like that it's not um, like really loud and kind of in your face. And then I love the polka dot. I love the little polka dot up here. And then this stripe at the top. So there is a little tie in the back. Um, we just did it in a knot yesterday because I couldn't get the bow to work really well. Um, but that's probably just me not really knowing how to do a bow very well, <laughs> more than anything else. And then look at this ribbon with the little carrots. So there's a couple different bottoms. Um, you can do this same scrappy legging because of that polka dot, so that looks really cute. We actually did that yesterday. You can do the stripes that are that same stripe as what's on top. This looks really crazy because this is a two and these are like tens. So just keep that in mind, but you can kind of see how it coordinates. And then there are actually some really, really cute little shorties that have carrots on them. Can you see that? And so that kind of goes with these as well. Um, these little ties are kind of making it hard to see um, because of the carrots. So they match that ribbon. There you go. And it also, it, that's like a light pink right back there. So it's really cute together. I love these. These are so, so cute. So different options that you can kind of do with that top. Um, we wore it yesterday with a shirt um, underneath it, like a puffer sleeve shirt um, that was light pink and it was really cute together. Another really cute top, people have been going nuts over this one. I love the style, I always have. Um, but it is kind of that flutter sleeve top. This is the prettiest fabric right here with these really pretty flowers. The little plaid at the bottom. I love the yellow details. And then the um, color at the top. So look at all these different colors. So again, with this, because this is gonna be stretching uh, knit cotton right here, this is your woven several different um, pant options. So these look really cute with it because of that stripe on that sleeve. So that's really cute. And then I actually was just thinking, let me pull these for you. These might actually look really cute with it too because of that yellow. So that's a cute little outfit right there. Hadn't pulled that yet, so I'm glad I did. And then there's some plain green shorts that look really cute. So these are from the basics line as well. They look really cute with it. 
And then the pink ones that I don't have on my rack, but they're pink and from um, the basic line, they're like a just a bubblegum pink. Would look really cute with it too. So something I love about this style top is we normally get it a little bit bigger so that it, it it's still a tunic, but it fits just kind of, um, it's just a bigger fit. So then we get two years of use out of it because we'll wear it the next year and it'll be the shorter tunic length, which is really cute too. I think that might be all of our tops. So let me show you some of our dresses. Love this one. So we have this precious maxi. So let me show it to you in two different um, sizes though, and then I'll show you the details. So this is a four and this is a six. So you can see how big of a difference there is with our maxi dresses like this. The size four and the size two come at more of a shin length and then six and up are gonna be your full maxi. So my daughter is about 45 inches, I think, or 46, something like that. Um, this is really long on her. So we ended up getting the four. It hits her about mid shin. It looks really, really cute, but it's not going to be that full maxi length. And I don't think we could actually do this for a little while anyway. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're looking at these dresses, um, that there is going to be that kind of difference there. So let me show the details on this one. So this print, love it, love it, love it. There are pockets and there are pockets that are plaid. How cute is that? You can see that. Um, this is my favorite part. So it's got that plaid underneath, but I love that it's got a keyhole and it's got these little kind of flaps, I guess. Um, but they're really, it's just a really cute little top. And then it's got the plaid underneath there. So super soft. Like every time I touch these clothes, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so soft. So my daughter loves it because they're so soft when she's wearing them. So this is one of my favorites for sure. Another favorite, and this has been probably the most popular when it comes to picking out things for pictures, because there's one um, in this print, there's something for everybody. So there is a romper for tween, there's a maxi dress, let me just show you real quick, um, for women, and this is what a lot of mommy and me pictures are being done as. And then there is um, a baby dress that's exactly, almost exactly like this. So definitely lots of options, which is great. But this is what I love about it. So I love these ruffles that kind of go, it's a different silhouette. So instead of having the ruffle over here, it's gonna go straight down the front and then have these little short sleeves. Um, we almost wore this one to church yesterday and then changed our minds. I love the ribbon at the bottom and then I love how the pockets are a different fabric. And they're so cute, so cute. So if you wanted to put this with pants, you actually can do that same striped ruffle that's up at the top matches these and so it's a cute little outfit together too the scrappy leggings actually look really cute with it as well again this is going to be a little bit hard to see just because the scrappy leggings that i have down here right now are the baby ones but you can see the polka dots match so it's so one thing that i absolutely love to do with matilda jane is um pull out whatever obscure fabric there is from a pocket or a stripe down the front or whatever it may be um, you know, there's not a whole lot of this um, stripe right here, but it still looks really cute when you pair them together. That's what I love to do, to find the bottoms and the tops that I like to put together. This is probably my favorite girl's dress. So my little girl had this on and her daddy saw her um, when she was trying it on and twirling around and he was like, she looks beautiful, I love that dress. So this is probably gonna be our Easter dress, um, but look at how cute it is. So stretchy knit cotton at the top, Cute little ruffle right here. Cute little waistband. And then it's got a woven cotton on the bottom. Love this print. I think those flowers are so gorgeous. Little ruffles at the bottom that are polka dot. And then plaid. And then look at the back. I love how it dips down. It's just a really pretty, and I love that it still has the ruffle too. So it's got this little belt. It's just a really, really sweet dress. It's so cute. Um, we haven't worn it out yet, but I know when we do, we're going to get tons of compliments because it's just a beautiful color. It's a beautiful cut. Love the print. Um, so it's definitely one that I think every little girl needs to have because it's so cute and it twirls really well um, because, you know, it's got to have a twirl factor. Can't wear it if it doesn't twirl. Another one that I think is really sweet is this one. Y'all, if this came in my size, I would wear it. So this is a heavy linen. Um, and let me just tell you, so this has been either hanging on this rack or it's been you know shoved in my bags to take it to trunk shows so i've not done anything by way of ironing it or anything like that but it still is actually i mean it's wrinkled but not that bad which makes me think that if i had ironed it or steamed it 
it probably wouldn't get super wrinkled carrying it around like that because um, a lot of this is the way that it was when it came out of the bag when I got my trunk. So keep that in mind because a lot of people are afraid of linen, but this one I think is a heavier version so it actually doesn't wrinkle as bad. So definitely a more sophisticated style. Um, it looks really cute on the little girls, but also looks really pretty on older girls too. Um, and only has a little bit of ruffle. So if they're really out of the ruffle phase, this is just tiny ruffle and then little um, flower buttons. And that's it, that's the, that's the detail. Um, so it's just a really sweet, simple, love this color, um, simple little dress. So gotta love it. I'm telling you, they've done so many that I absolutely love. Okay, couple more dresses. So this one, so if you have been around Matilda Jane for a while, you will remember this print because we had one several years ago called the Apple Pie Dress that was exactly like this, but it was pink. Um, I'm really digging the green. I think it's super, super cute, especially for St. Patrick's Day. Um, but I love this style too. So it's all stretchy, not, um, stretchy knit. I love the tears. And then I love the little detail, the rickrack at the bottom that's that really light pink. And then it's just, I mean, it's just a really sweet dress. I will say it runs a little bit long. Um, I have not gotten, this one's a six. This is probably what we'll just keep um, instead of getting a four because my daughter's kind of right there at, like, she's pretty solid in sixes now, but this one does run a little bit longer, I've noticed, but not to a point where it looks bad. So we're going to keep the six, um, but if you're kind of in between sizes, I would say do the four instead. Um, but I love this. I actually wish they had made something in women's that had this just real simple plaid. Um I think it's really pretty and I would totally wear it. Okay, so another fan favorite, this tool dress. So this one looks like a top because it's a two. I have one, oh, here it is. Here's a six, so just so you can see it. Let me show you the six to give you the details. So there's that floral print again at the top that you're used to seeing. And then the really pretty blue tears with the tool and the lace. So I will say these straps run, um, at least on my daughter, because I don't think she has a really long upper body. Um, and so we're probably gonna have to tack our straps um, just because it's a little bit heavy um, of a dress to be on this stretchy of a um, little spaghetti strap right there. So just kind of keeping that in mind. Um, but I think it would be really easy to just tack it um, and wear it. So. Amelia's like obsessed with this one, so we're gonna have to, it's gonna need to be warm soon so that she can wear it because I mean, every little girl loves anything that looks like a tutu. That's what she got right here. So definitely one of my favorites and one of her favorites for sure, just because I love the detail. Um, two more dresses and then there's another little outfit that I'm gonna show you. So this is the one that matches the bunny. Easter bunny, I love it. Isn't it so pretty? So I'm a sucker for blue and green stripe. I love this. We used to have some um, lemongrass bennies is what they were called, but they were uh, striped pants that were bennies that were so cute like that. Um, but love how that looks together. This is a really pretty fabric down at the bottom. And then this is that watercolor I showed in the baby video um, that has the little houses. So it almost looks like a watercolor painting. I just love all the colors. And then that really sweet um, floral print, buttons as usual, we always love our details. And then the really pretty ribbon um, or little ruffle right around there. So stretch knit at the top, woven cotton on the bottom so it's not super stretchy. This cute little rickrack detail right here. So again, adorable. Um, let me pull the little girl, the baby coordinating top. If you want to see more of the, the matches, um, make sure to watch the baby video. But I just wanted to pull that so you can see it's a little bit different. The background color is different here. But it'd make a really cute little sister set for pictures for Easter. Like I know my kids, Nana and Papa and me, Mom and Granddaddy would absolutely love to have pictures of them in that. So last but not least, dress wise. Love this one. So we're actually going to do this one um, as a tunic. And so it actually looks really cute with the plaid shorts from last month as a tunic. Um, so keep that in mind. This style is always good for that. It's also one that if you bought it as a dress now, you could wear it as a tunic later. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it, which I'd love to do. I'm all about some longevity. Um, 
but this is just a great style to do that because it is kind of a wider style and so um, it's not super tight anywhere and so you can you know grow and it kind of grows with you a little bit so I love the polka dots at the top it's all the really soft stretch knit this little rickrack detail right here the little flutter um, sleeves right there and the floral print so I'm loving this this actually matches the baby bubble from um, the baby video so make sure you go watch that but I just love the colors so this coral color I got a bow that's this coral color um, and it looks really it's like a peachy color um, it looks really cute with it sorry my phone was telling me I had 20% battery um, so that's the last dress that we have and then let me show you the last little outfit so I forgot to show you this top earlier so absolutely adorable little tank these are running pretty true to size I used to run small but I found that this particular style is actually running pretty true to size it's got the sweet little floral right here it's just like a ribbed tank there are floral shorties that match it that look really cute but my personal favorite are these and I'm so surprised these are not sold out these are called the visionary shorty or visionary short but look at this people have asked if they're pajama pants they're not they're totally regular shorts but I love the little floral right there and then it has the green polka dot so this looks really cute together I'm gonna show it that way and then we've got this cute little I almost think it's like a ballet style um, kind of gauzy sweater and so I really like the way that it all looks together I have a picture of my daughter in it um, and she looks so stinking cute but that together with these shorts look at how cute that is so cute so I love this I also love this just to have because there's so many different things that as it gets warmer out it's also you know sometimes a little bit chilly in the morning or you know it might get chilly and they want just a, a really simple little cardigan that would be great for that because it's thin um, but it can also just provide a little bit of warmth um, and goes with so many of the pieces so I'm telling you I love all these outfits they're so so cute so that is all for the girls line um, make sure you check out the swim video if you're looking for the swim um, I'm gonna do that in a separate video um, just so I can kind of keep all swim together um, but make sure you check those out make sure you check out the other videos if you're looking for something different um, the women's line is amazing so if you've never tried any of our women's pieces you definitely need to so if you have any questions, make sure you drop me a comment, find me on Facebook. Um, I do have a Facebook group you can join if you're not already a member. Um, and that's kind of where I share all of the details about the lines. Um, so let me know if you have any questions and if I can help you. Thanks.